Hey family, happy Thursday. I hope everybody's doing well. And thank you for joining me for another session of Daily Bread. Today's session of Daily Bread is titled, There is a Center. And today we continue reading through my daily devotional, where today's scripture focus is Colossians chapter 1, verse 16. And it reads, For in him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. Just a big bang theory? Not with Jesus at the center. The world was created for Jesus. All creation and history flow from and point to him. We live in 24 AD, Annual Domini, Latin for in the year of our Lord. History has acknowledged its focal point, and it is Jesus. Jesus is the goal of all things. All creation and all history have been fashioned with Christ in mind, for they achieve their intended purpose through him and exist for him. Far from just a Big Bang Theory, all of life and creation draw meaning only from Jesus Christ. An Old English hymn declares, Of the Father's love begotten, ere the worlds began to be, He is the Alpha and Omega, He the Source, the Ending He, Of the things that are, that have been, and that future years shall see, evermore and evermore. Hallelujah. It's amazing. The hands which hold history are nails scarred. The heart from which history beats is love filled. The mind which plans history is grace filled. When life confuses or confounds you, remember, Jesus is the center, and the world is in his hands. Amen. My dear family, take the most recent near-death experience that we witnessed not too long ago. It is evident that Jesus Christ is in control. Sometimes it takes a near tragedy to come to that realization. Today, I pray that the Lord would fill you with his truth as you meditate on Colossians chapter 1 verse 16. And I pray that the Lord bless you, keep you, shine his beautiful face upon you and be gracious to you and give you peace. In Jesus' name.